Selling silver trunks here tonight in Dusseldorf. He can, he can then look to land his power punches. Henry Manska, of course, Manska the stand-up European. Uh, he's going to have to throw a lot more than that to keep Williams off of him, which he's reputation of being a notoriously slow starter in some of his fights. That does not appear to be the case. As Williams has come out with a flurry. Watch the left quick stoppage of Freddie Delgado. He's more of a brawler at times, which is very dangerous. <laughs> Ask the Prince what music he was listening man, in Prince Charles Williams. In fact, early in the first round, we have seen him throw more punches in round. Left to go in round one, schedule for ropes. Instead, he fainted him and uh, came up with nothing. Good turn by Maska, the champion of the town of Berlin, southwest Berlin, but has since moved, as I mentioned, to the German-Polish border. A husband and father of one heavyweight championship is underway in Dusseldorf. The flashy, the challenger, Henry Maska of Germany. There you see Williams trying to bull his way on the end. I bet and called it almost an even first round. I thought Williamsburg is going to be a very busy man in the ring. But he said before the fight that he wants the fighters to fight out of clinch. A left uppercut being a southpaw, and now Williams hears that either a cut or maybe some blood. He's holding and clinching at every opportunity. The big question marks by Henry Masca is his chin. Can he take a big league punch? It's hard to exactly tell where that cut is near Henry Masca's Staggering Williams, he got caught with a right hand again. Rush, this is a 12 round fight. In some mistakes here by trying to pressure him too much. And he's six and a half was the numbers. And there's a little bit of a roll around the belly of Prince Charles that you normally do not see. Right, and Mascus at every opportunity trying to clinch. The try to Charles Williams will come in. The USA Today, he's our guest analyst at ringside and happy to have him. The referee is not forcing Masca to... Oh, there's been reluctant to immediately step in and do something about it. By the way, there is some concern, and certainly... This isn't going more to their jab. To try and set up that... 1987. He, by the way, is the longest reigning champion going in professional... And we must remember one thing. Even though Henry Masca is not a big... Career. Reggie Gross, Anthony... Uh, Bobby Chez, he was down twice. He came back and rallied and won. Well, it's a... Battle Royal now, getting some punches gotta, from Masca. This has got to be as clean shots as he is, and, I, and it looks like he's thrown uh, Charles off his game plan a little bit. Wins just slightly over 62%. Williams with a big, strong right hand. Masca not only surprising Williams, but delighting, trying to become the first Eastern Bloc fighter to win a light heavyweight title. Did not be getting hit with. And he ends the third round on a flurry. And now almost pushes Masca three rounds. But I've got Masca winning the fight. In fact, I gave him all three rounds, although it's possible that it could be 2-1 Masca. It all depends how the judges saw that first round. Is that styles make fights. And it could be that Henry Masca's got... October of 91. Henry Masca biding his time with an opera of it so far. Two-round knockout over Fred Delgado of Puerto Rico. Also, I got... Good combination by Masca. I, I wonder if Williams is cornered. You can hear that German crowd getting behind. Body shot right to the midsection by Masca with the left hand. Followed by to his left the more to avoid that left hand. More so than I've seen Prince Charles against Masca. Masca scoring on the right hand on the jab by Masca. Left up a big lead here. It's going to be very hard to come back. Goes 12 rounds. Masca's putting these rounds in also that... Even though he's trying to come in. Prince Charles Williams with a point deducted for a headbutt in round number four. When you move in on a straight line, you're looking to get hit. It is indeed and getting rougher by the moment. And there's Masca taking the... He's hitting, he's scoring. He's scoring. Rothenberg letting him fight off the ropes and Masca takes advantage of it. Than any more holding, he will deduct a point. And that is well over and above blueprint for a fight strategy. I think Sam is it. Charles Williams is complying with it. Throwing a lot of left hooks which is possibly his best punch. I don't see different times exactly. in the same place. He had a fight schedule with been more ready to fight the champion now than he was a year ago. And one of the four losses in the uh, light hip scenarios with the other light heavyweights around the world. On the ring because uh, they're facing each other from different directions. Manfred Volke is the trainer for the challenger. Masken and one over 190 fights in his amateur, and they fit very well, like a, a hand and a glove. And the fact that he's in his 15th year fighting, 
and he's you got to feel that putting ahead of that is not their crowd wanting Williams to be called for or at least warned for a hold and she's done already three times in the fight now, a couple of weeks before the fight Charles Williams told me that he didn't feel that Henry Masco was in his platinum in over his head you got to wonder if he was motivated to and holds the records for title defenses and has been kind of the guiding light everybody's looked at obviously 10th round has now gone by the boards but still well in the book right now Stop. and we are delighted that you could join us tonight for world championship boxing brought Stop to you by Cedric Kushner Productions and Hyde with Masca I think Get your hand off of it. but boy he's come out like a house of fire tonight and has been very good with him picking Whoa, his spots tonight right uppercut and now as they're starting to get on him they were pretty quiet for the first uh, Boss fight slip away to a point where he's going to need a knock. Not letting Williams get off, and then you chin that scores. As the German promoter told nope. Marcel Nartz, in the United States, you would call Henry Mack. As you pointed out, to find that target tonight. A right with anything. Throwing one punch at a time. Maska scoring again. The scorecard's definitely building in favor of the German Olympic champion Maska, and you can see why, as he has virtually landed everything he's thrown here tonight, as Williams is throwing only the one punch and out and not landing that well. If Charles Williams doesn't get busy, he can say off Weeders ain't to his name. Some of the crowd over there, so we are having extracurricular activity, and Williams is now coming back with a couple of wild punches. He landed a good right hand. Don't Masker ties him up, but Williams keeps throwing punches. Don't get your hand away. An uppercut by Williams. A counter oh, that I time by Masker. Oh. Uppercut by Williams scored well. But Charles, so he's not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Masca does not appear to early, which normally he doesn't do, could have some kind of effect on him. Time as we wind down with about a minute 15 left to go in round number eight of the scheduled 12 round world title fight. Masca right hand picked his spots right up the middle, and Williams did indeed answer. Now they brawl on the road. They head back to the ropes by the referee. You'd think Williams would have figured it out by now, but he keeps getting. Charles Williams intended to tonight. I think maybe he just got caught up and got a little low, and that's why you hear the whistling in the background as rounds come and gone. We've now moved to the eighth round. Masca would be in control, and now here in the ninth. The corner of Prince Charles Williams is, and Prince Charles is seeing it slip away here. The left hook into the body, and then maybe go upstairs with another left hook. Here, Sam. That's always that's been a key. Haters. Less than a minute to go in round number nine. Mask is just beating him to the point. Mask East Block light heavyweight champion is doing a job to jab. Reggie Gross, along with Pops Marv Johnson, have been able to stop. As Mask came out picking a spot, throwing a good right lead jab. And followed with a left hand. A stunning upset to a lot of people in the boxing world when they pick up the paper card as it does yours. And the one thing about an upset, it is not because we're fighting in Dusseldorf, Germany. This way. I got news. The way that the way Charles Williams. Oh, you don't think Prince Charles Williams will be getting some booze watch right your now? Head, Henry. Charlie, watch your head. Trying to win a world title. The other thing about Charles Williams is after he beat Chez for the title. And it ended in two rounds in April of 91. Best punch. Both of them seem to be waiting for the live band that has been playing here to do a little. Their problem, the swelling on Prince Charles Williams that was feared back in around six and seven. Keeps going like this. As if he bet on Henry Masca tonight at five to one. Wow. I, don't know what, I don't know what Williams Corner told him between rounds because we can't hear the audio. Big right hand. Or left hand for that matter. I, I, I think the hand might be bothering him, Sam, but I, I'm more inclined to... Williams, if indeed it goes against him tonight, I also feel some sorrow. It could be mass confusion in that ring here. Quick lessons here from our friends in Germany. I can help up there for you. It also, if we have the cooperation, would be interesting to get Prince Charles Williams' evaluation of what happened tonight, but again, it would deter... Right now. He's not coming forward as he was earlier. is one big punch and it's just because that kind of demeans henry in his yes. title no question about it 
He did not fight. Those names may change after this final three minutes, and most likely will. And Mask has got a tiger by the tail. Waiting for. You know, I think he knew he was low on fuel in terms of energy, and obviously he saved it here for the end. But it may be too late. This round could really depend on what referee Alan Rothenberg. He comes back wanting things to happen that are not happening right now with two minutes to go in this world title fight. Now appears to be a legitimate right. The hand problem. That he... Master with a left hand since Williams back. Going to win it fighting. Gonna... You will hear a roar at the fan from Germany. And our card has done. Williams now. They don't give you numbers, but it's academic. And Henry Masca is a new IBF light heavyweight champion of the world.